Hello and welcome back to our channel. Today we have an exciting topic to discuss. Noted is a virtual programming tool that allow you to wire together devices, APIs and online services in a new and interesting way. It's perfect for IoT home automation and much more. In this video we are going to take a deep dive into a specific Noted flow. We will break down each component, explain how they will work together and demonstrate how this flow can be used. Let's jump right in and take a look into the noded flow we will be discussing today. So here segment 1 TCP request with buffer output. Our noded flow starts with TCP request with buffer output group. This group sends a TCP request and accepts a buffer output. We have an inject node that sends a test message, a TCP request node that communicate with the server on port 2000 and debug node to view the output. The TCP request node sends the test messages to the server and the debug node display the response after converting to ASCII. In the segment 2, TCP request with string output. In the TCP request with string output group, we send a TCP request but accept a string output this time. This group also includes an inject node, a TCP request node communicating with port 2000 and debug node for viewing the response. The TCP request node sends the message and the debug node displays the string response. So next comes the segment 3 TCP request with a dynamic port. Now let's explore the TCP request with a dynamic port group where the port can be dynamically selected. We have a TCP request node, a UI drop down and port selection, a change node to set the host and port dynamically and UI test node to display the response. The UI drop down allows you to select the server and change node dynamically sets the host and port. This UI text node displays the response. Segment 4 TCP server on port 2000 Moving on to the TCP server on port 2000 group we are now on the server side. This group includes TCP in for receiving data a debug node to view incoming data a TCP output for sending responses and function node response. The TCP in node receives the data, the function node generates a response and the TCP out node sends the response back to the client. Segment 5 TCP server on port 2001 Lastly, we have the TCP server on port 2001 group a similar server setup but on the port 2001. Nodes in this group are similar to the TCP server on port 2000 group. With TCP in debug the TCP out and function nodes, this server also receives data, processes it and sends back to the response. That's it for our depth explanation of this Node-RED flow. Node-RED is a powerful tool for IoT, automation and much more. And understanding the flow works is essential. If you found this video helpful or have any questions, please leave a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more exciting tech content. Thank you for joining us today. We will see you in the next video. Bye.